I'm Devavrat Shah. I'm co-founder and CEO at Ikigai Labs. I'm also a professor of AI at MIT, where I've been teaching for the last 19 years. Large graphical models, uh, the probabilistic view of data, are primarily very useful to understand patterns from tabular timestamp data. You see, enterprise data is a mental model of it is like a spreadsheet with lots of data missing, disparate, sparse. Large graphical models learn patterns of it so that we can fill missing values, understand uh, what are the data points that are anomalous, how anomalous they are, can understand relationship between rows, relationship between columns, understand relationship between multiple spreadsheets that are just different snapshots of the same ground truth so that we can stitch it together and do something with it downstream. If the data is timestamped, the patterns that we understand can help us do forecasting, help us guess, fill out the values that were missed in the past, learn the relationship both in spatial and temporal sense so that we can do all sorts of scenario analysis. And everything on top of it, we can do such as simulations so that we can do outcome-driven planning. Large language model um, very much popularized the term generative AI, the foundational model primarily. They try to learn patterns primarily in text data from the world's data. They can speak to us in natural language. Effectively, their amazing interface for every modern software apps. That's how we should be designing every modern app. It's like a beautiful droid, a droid that can talk to you, that can potentially sympathize with you too. Uh, you can ask the droid for water, it will understand it needs water, but then it needs to go and find a tap from which it can fill it up. The tap, especially in the world of enterprise, is your tabular timestamp data. And that's where large graphical models come in. You want to learn patterns on top of those data sets, understand them, and maybe with a language model interface, spit it out and interface with you to the application. Large language models, which are popularized under the umbrella of generative AI, typically tries to take world's data, everything that's out there in the internet and more, to build a comprehensive massive model, and hence they're called foundational model. Our view is that we want to learn patterns only on your data, on your spreadsheet, on your time series, and that's what large graphical models do. So large graphical models uh, fundamentally run on your data. The way we have developed the technology, the algorithms, they can run on CPUs. They're very compute efficient. They can actually work with very sparse data. They don't need a ton of data, but of course you throw a ton of data, it will be able to absorb it and it will be able to scale. So you don't need to burn the forest down. You can keep the trees growing and still get the AI that you want.